Hey guys, Lamsi here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Glad to see you here, KM and Nico. <laughs> it's been a very short um, 10 hours, 7 hours that is. <clears throat> and I just recently woke up, so you'll have to pardon the voice. Uh, it's a bit nasal at the moment, um, hopefully it, it clears up soon. But I'm always like this in the morning. Uh, anyway, back to transport fever. How are you guys doing? I guess it was it's still the same day for you guys, right? Seven hours. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> good morning for me. Good evening for you. And probably good morning as well to Nico. 1 a.m. there, right? Okay, so <laughs> right off the bat, we're seeing some problems in the game. Same day, right? We're seeing some bottlenecks in our food industry. And it says so here as well. We have 101 food. And it says to try to ship more items. Potential has gone to zero. Crap. So it looks like we are missing some trucks in here. Now I did remember we removed some of the trucks. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're still here. All right. Um, okay. That's good, I guess. But I was thinking that we could reroute them. So if we continue this, just let the game roll. But haven't slept. Oh yeah, Nico. It's been a long day for you then. Glad you could still join. Okay. GEC 40BW. Sounds like a cool train. We'll have to check it out one time. But for now, let's fix the food problem. So we do have a lot of income here for food. We do stop here and there and then finally here so four stops all in all is there any traffic not really so i think it's a matter of volume then there might be a bit of traffic there but not really no no it's good so i think we just need to increase the number of trucks there's a hundred that's piling up maybe we need I don't know four maybe let's sell uh, one two let's sell two but let's uh, dig into these five let's assign you there back there okay good thing I didn't sell you yet right nice Hmm, I'm seeing also some passengers building up in here. How's our bus lines? It is earning. But a lot of people are waiting. So I think we can increase the number of passengers in here. Hmm, what's the newest one? This one. Let's get two and assign you to the bus in Frisco. Are all your lines making profit? That's a good question. Let's see. All of them are, except the bus and surprise for some reason isn't making money anymore. Oh yeah, I remember this. So we have the tram line in here. And at the same time, we wanted the bus line to cover the entire space. But so far, it hasn't been working out that well. It might pick up soon though, so we'll, let's just let it cook for a while. We are losing some stuff in here. Hmm. In Orlando. So basically the trucks that are delivering from the train stations to the cities are kind of at a loss. And I think it's just because, if you remember from the last uh, time we were here, we had some problems with the supply chain. 
so the oil production stopped totally and as an effect it crashed the entire supply chain until the cities so that might be the reason so we haven't really picked up fully from then but if we let that uh, settle I think that should improve in a bit Now we are earning money more or less if you look at all our lines we do have five trucks five truck lines four truck lines and one bus line which doesn't earn us anything but everything else is earning money and our biggest earners are the uh, Passenger train lines. Almost full. Look at that. Nice. If you look at this, there we go. Crude oil, 1.85M. So, it used to be our crude oil line was the biggest earner, but now it seems like it's uh, still picking up. So, let's let that settle in for a while. Alright. So, I wanted to optimize more stuff in here because if you look, uh, if, if you look at the fuel details, the potential of fuel is 2846, but we're only delivering 1100 around that point. So we are less than half from maximizing our profits. So we can deliver much, much more to our cities. The same with food. If you look at food, potential is 2000, but we're only delivering around 500. So that's around one fourth. And I'm not sure where the bottleneck is, so we'll have to figure it out. It might be here. We might need a separate platform just for food and a separate train. Yeah, I remember this a bit. Uh, we were thinking of um, separating the actual goods. So one train line for one goods. So this train can only carry oil. The other one can only carry food. That might be a thing, but I'm not so sure, honestly, if that will work. There's lots of fuel in here. Let me see. How are the cities being populated? Let's look first at Frisco. Wow, is that traffic or what? And I just said there's no traffic, right? <laughs> okay. Where's this guy coming from? Ah, okay. I think it would be better if the truck line didn't go through there if it went back here. So maybe we can add a station here. Yeah, make it go that way instead. Remove the third. Um. Yeah, that can work. That can work. So it stays on the outside. So going from the food processing plant goes through here, right? Here. And then instead of turning left here, which causes traffic, it just goes straight. So it doesn't collide with any intersections, right? That's better. So it goes on the outside, goes to the station, leaves. Now it goes through a different route here stops on this side, drops off goods, and then turns right here, which is less conflicts. That would improve the traffic a lot, hopefully. Just trucks traffic, cars are fine. So trucks are backed up unloading. Ah, yeah, that, that might be the case. So only the bus lines are clogged. Separate train should work good. We can test that out. After this settles in, let's see. So I guess the bottleneck is this one. Because... Uh, although not really, because it's transporting everything. 
Wait, wait. Let's see. Frisco, what is your status on food and fuel? This in itself has very limited food. 100 only. And fuel is not the best as well. So if you look at the, the drop-off points here. Truck for food stops at these stations. Um, and if we turn on that indicator. So it stops here. It should cover the entire thing actually. And this one as well. Yeah, And this one. So it should cover all of the commercial areas. Turn that off, we don't like that. But for some reason, they're not getting all the food. That means, even just from this chain, from this leg, yep, there it is, build up again. Maybe because of the traffic. Let's leave it a bit and maybe it will improve because the earlier they were clogged up. Yeah, here they are. Why are they slowing down here? Oh, makes it snarling down. Maybe we can upgrade that. What is this? The food processing plant? Yeah, yeah, okay. Upgrade you and you. There we go. That should be much faster. Now, why are these guys all turning around? <laughs> Weird behavior. What? They're turning around. Hmm. That sure is weird. This guy and this guy have food in them. And this guy as well. I don't get it. And now there's no more food. <laughs> yeah, I hate that as well. How they reroute like that. I mean, it, it works, right? Yeah, this guy is delivering. He was just confused for a second there. Hmm, very, very strange. Okay, I think it's producing again. Alright, that's good. 2,594, look at that potential. Would it work if we had a train line from here? Contour lines are a pain though. If you just try. You may need to upgrade the truck stop next to farm to large. It is large already though. This one reaches, but construction not possible. I think it's too slopey. We'll have to Oh yeah. Remodel this entire thing. No, no, that won't work. We need to optimize our trucks. Yeah, this is already large, but what we can do is make it even larger, like. Like so, maybe? Not sure which is better. If this is the one or the other. Let me try it out. Since there's not a lot of food there yet, anyway. So nothing will get lost so much. Won't be such a waste. Only thing is, I can't plop this down. Oh, that's the problem. Okay, it works here. Could it work as well on this other side? It does there. Too much slope though. No, not really. <laughs> Terrible place to have a food processing plant in. Okay, I think we'll have to stick with this. And hope that it works.
There we go. Or maybe... Uh, maybe something like that. There we go. And have a small road connecting here. There. Now to check, is that connected? Yes, it is. All right. Truck stop. All right. That registered. That should be good. Let's see. How <laughs> these guys are. What the heck happened? <laughs> Rip. Okay, good luck with that. <laughs> Let's see if they'll fix themselves. Oh, they will. That's nice. They're smart enough to do it. Wow. What is that? The Merlin. And there's a new bus. Cool. Okay. Food. No food. You go around. I hate that you have to micromanage these guys. Food there. This one doesn't. And this one as well. There you go. Should take care of backup once they fix. Backup, backup where? In the, in the, the city like this? Yeah, I think it, the clog has been fixed. Oh, what is this though? Why the heck would you not just go forward? Ah, it's a bug. It is a bug. Look at this. If I add another station like that, that fixes it, I can remove this one. Not really. Remove it. Add it. There we go. That was a bit weird. So the line is actually... They are fixed now. Perfect. That's nice. At the truck stop. Yeah, seems like they're settling in fine. Everyone happy. Six twenty four, okay that's good. Production is increasing. Let's see how much we can pump it at. And then once that production increases, let's observe if our trains get left behind if we need to modify the number of wagons in here. Okay, something's building up. The long distance trains. But there's one arriving, alright, that's cool. How are the long distance trains doing, by the way? 7.45 million. <laughs> so if we look here, yeah, there are biggest earners now. So it looks like the oil production has picked up again. That's good. Although the crude oil seems like it's still losing money. Interestingly enough. Kaching, there it is. A bit weird. Wow, that's a bit slow. 50. <laughs> really, look at that. Hmm, traffic? Only for the cars, I think. For buses, not really. Trams are in high demand in here, though. Maybe let's add two more. Oh, and yes, there are new buses, so we have to assign the replacements. Road, visible, all these buses. Let's check one first. So it's 13, it becomes 15. Alright, that's good. Oh man, this might be a lot. Oh yeah, this is my hatest part here. Wish there was like an auto renew thingy 
<laughs> this will take some time, guys. Alright, there we go. Best way to make money smooth goods a long way. Short jump makes money slow. Ah, yes. I get your point. I did have a long distance train in my hard playthrough. It was my biggest money earner as well. 20 million, I think. At hard. So maybe we should focus on long distance then. So that's why our long distance line earns so much. Okay, one by one, we'll get there. Is that everything? I think this one still, right? Everything, press delete. Good. Build up of cars. Yep. Because of this intersection, but you can't do anything about that. What is this? Food processing plant. Yeah, I know. Still a problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did upgrade these to Metro Liners. Nice. When you first started, you thought little jumps would be better as there is less startup. But the game scales profit to distance. Ah, uh, I get your point. Yeah. Which makes it more exciting, I think, right? Although the, f the concept of switching transportation is exciting as well. It's a fun thing to see. Like the food getting delivered via trucks to a train station and then delivering to another train station where a truck gets it and you know the, that that jumping thing oh yes by the way i did see uh i did check out the map you showed me km it was an interesting map but i'm not sure if that's what i was looking for um what I'm looking for in particular is a map with a, a huge body of water in the middle because I want to force the game to make ships profitable. Like in this case, I guess you wouldn't really think of a ship because you could just do it by train. But if there's a huge body of water in the middle, then we'll be forced to make a ship to transfer goods and passengers. And that might be a good thing to explore. To finally be able to see how the ships look like and how they work. Or at least that's the concept. We'll see. Bus transfer to Waterbury is quite packed. Let's add a few more in here. Maybe two. Waterbury transfer. There we go. Yeah? Alright, this one. Wow, lots of waiting people. 138. This one, 108. We do have metro liners here now. Yep. And in here, not really so much. More people waiting on the buses. So maybe we can add two more buses here. Where are you? There. Maybe we can add bus lanes even, but not really seeing a lot of traffic, so let's just keep it for now. Uh, ships work in that map down the coast. Get what you mean. Get what I mean. Yeah. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to make ships work at all. Have you tried it out? I haven't seen it work one sec just refresh refresh my dashboard here seems like it's not working properly okay there we go back ships are easy profit 
they almost always make profit if full. Problem is they're so slow, so income is not constant. Yeah, they're so slow, I'm not sure how to make it. Like, if they're transferring goods, the, the, the destination would always run out of stock before they arrive. So you'd have, I don't know, you'd need so many ships then. May take three years to get the income. May take, may even take three years for the ship to turn around. <laughs> With how slow it is, I do want to try it, to try it out though. Maybe we can look for something we can force here. There is a ship here, a food processing plant. If we can deliver food from here and back, deliver the food there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I just want to test it out. Steel mill. We haven't gone to steel yet. We haven't explored that chain at all. Wow. Wait a minute. Still lots of demand in here for buses let's get two more buses then maybe three let's get four overkill or not oil ships are the only one you use so oil ships how many ships do you have in the line to make it work because they they but the turnaround time is so slow right 39, 39, 35, 31. I don't know. Three buses. Two buses. Wow. Now this is humongous demand. 92 everywhere. 66, 675, 64, 40. Alright. For sure we need more buses in here. 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 15 times 4, 16, okay. maybe 6. There we go. Four, but not super far. That is enough that each load is full. That is nice. I want to see something like that. A full loaded ship. How much capacity do they have? Like 150? Or more? Yeah, that would be an amazing thing to see. If we can't make that here, we can at least try that in the new map when we start next year. What is this? Bus in Stockton. Okay, let's add a few more buses. Maybe three more. See the traffic building up though. Yeah, it looks like there's a build of traffic here. How is it going in here? Looks like food is being distributed properly, although food production is going down for some reason. Not sure why. We do have 2,200 demand, so I'm not sure why it would stop. We are getting lots of fuel here now. Um, I'm thinking maybe our truck lines visible all. Our industry is not earning a lot for some reason. It has three vehicles. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's okay. Oh, 
when they arrive you get 100k each but each costs about 50k a year to run each delivers about once a year hmm yeah not as much profit would look cool though but yeah I understand how many oil 200 and able to carry more than 200 nice food is just 26 why just 26 why are you ramping down food come on keep on producing just produce everything potential is 822 something broke in some chain ah it's this one i think something got full here probably let's go and check stockton mediocre food but fuel is good so i'm thinking maybe we haven't updated here where's our stop to our trucks so this one it is stopping here which is right smack in the middle of the commercial center and here so in terms of catchment we should be getting everything we need yes there it is all the food 42 all 42 of them so this guy can carry 72 food and there's how much in here food to stockton is only 18 okay that's fine yeah all the, the platforms are filling up but they're not really a problem so now i'm not sure what it's causing the hold up oh wow it's 1991 guys <laughs> that's cool wait a minute if it's 1991 we look at the trucks here no it's not appearing look at all those people oh man <laughs> wow train station I like that ah the new train stations are here the new look they don't really improve anything I think but they do look more modern squarish Need more food leaving the farm. You see. Need more food leaving the farm. Here? Yeah, production is keeping up. It's ramping up slowly. We do have a lot of trucks in here. And are we earning anything? We're earning 700k, so profit went down a bit. It was 900k before. But as long as we are delivering as much food as we can, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's running out there. See? Hmm. Lots of people indeed. Wow, that's a lot. 160 oil. Yeah, so I'm still not sure why. Where's the bottleneck? Please, in food. So if I look here in this city, in Frisco itself. Food is just 66%. We have all the catchment areas. We can improve it. But I think because of all those demands, it's trying to push some of them out. So it's not just focusing on Frisco first and delivering to everything else afterwards. It's mo more of like a fair share deal. So Frisco and other cities are getting distributed food at the same rate. But for some reason, this is not building up that fast. It does have all the grain in the livestock it needs. I don't get it. It... We should reach this limit pretty soon if you keep this up. We need new farm. Hmm, I never thought of that. That might be. 
Wait a minute, why is this still... Are you guys okay? Why is everyone still waiting in line here? 106. <laughs> okay. Might need more buses here, maybe four more. Fair share, yeah. So let's see. We can go and look for an alternative processing plant. Or we can focus at the whole new industry altogether. Maybe construction materials would be fine. We do have some construction materials plants here. Um, where would we find the stone or slag though? Stone or slag can be found see it stone is here <laughs> this far off <laughs> wait a bit maybe there's something near let's see uh, product a stone Birmingham there's one in Birmingham which is this out of the woods here Fort Wayne that's a bit nearer but not really Uh, Lowell. I am seeing something. I'm seeing a familiar place. There's a surprise quarry. Fire is good, more money. Hmm, that's true. That is true. Ah. Oh, this is a quarry. Wait a minute. Alright, alright. So if this is a quarry, this is actually in the middle of our cities. We can leverage that. So there's a quarry 1, there's a quarry 2, which is uh, over here. Alright, they're both in here in this area. We have a construction plant over here. So we can technically deliver that there. How? We can take the train from here to there, take it via bus or via truck here, and deliver it back. That can work. Yeah, that can work. Easy to add that one right by track. Yeah. So from here, we can truck it here. Which makes me wonder why I had this route here. We don't really need this flyover thing. We can go straight here instead. Like if I make a road, a large country road from here. I can like... Uh, do it like so. you like that instead of having that link there you can go straight here like that and just connect this one from I don't know maybe let's make a flyover just to make it look nice Okay, a medium one would be fine. Ok, 
Okay, that would be good. Everything good? Yep. Okay. Nice. Over passes are scenic. Yeah. Really like them. Let's even this out a bit. <laughs> Looks ugly. Uh, there. Remove any evidence <laughs> that we derped up here. There we go. A bit better. Alright, so we can go and get a truck station here. Let's make it a large one. 100k. Okay, we can go as far as this one. Beep beep. New train? New plane. New train as well. Oh, I think that's my favorite train. I remember it had stripes like that. Anyway, right. So that's one. We deliver here. So this can be a simple, small, medium industry like so. As long as it connects to the train. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, like that. You can upgrade this road as well. Let's upgrade everything so it looks good. There. And the simple line like that delivering stone from here to here and look at that color is perfect as well truck stone so once it delivers stone here to this station we need the platform so it would go from here to that opposite side hmm Let me see, is there a platform that's not being used? There is. There is. It's this one. Okay, cool. Okay, that's perfect. We can use that then. So then we just need to connect this platform to that existing station. Maybe something like... Can connect like that sharp? Probably not. You take pics in ETS to them all the time. <laughs> yeah, I like them. <laughs> I do, don't I? <laughs> oh wow, that's laggy. Laggy. Right, there we go. Much better. So if I just squeeze it in like that in the pass, would that work? Or maybe I just go parallel like this one. and merge in later on hmm decisions decisions what is the earliest place i can blend i can merge here in this line because maybe i can change the loop to reflect that okay maybe i can push it back further okay this one i can connect there yes and instead of ending the the merge in here there we go I have to end somewhere here so make it a bit shorter there right so if I start my passing loop here Something like that. And then I can squeeze this in, in like that and merge it. Looks good. 161, I'm happy. In terms of signals, uh, here would be fine. Right. 
and the other one would be here. Yeah, looks, looks good. Right, so that's linked. So let's make another line from here to here. Which would basically deliver all those uh, construction materials, those stones. All the construction materials, how would it go back then? Hey, it changed. Why did it change the line? Alright, fine. So it resets stuff a bit. Hmm. Problem is you don't have a depot here anymore. Crap. You need a depot now. Hmm. Okay, so let's maybe make a depot over here. Can we have it like that and just connect everything to here? Maybe that works. Let's try it out. Collision? Collision to what? The signal, of course. Magical collision, as always. Remind me to put it back if I forget. Okay, so that's linked there. Have to link somewhere here. I think we have to start earlier. Okay, there. And from here to there. Um, why not? Yeah, that works, right? That's so weird. I paused. Uh, yes, I did. Why did I pause? Oh, because I was uh, destroying the route earlier. Right, right. Get back the signal. Hey, Skipper. Sorry, just saw it now. How are you doing? Glad you could join. Brave. You're scared to delete that much track. You never fix it right. Yeah, I've been I've been having too many blunders to be scared. <laughs> I've uh, gone through so many blunders, I'm not too scared anymore. Okay, let's go earlier like this. There is the earliest. From there, can you link up to this one now? Why not? Too much curvature. Okay, that seems to be too sharp though for it. So maybe we can make a different route then. Uh, did I see something? Collision. Collision to what? Collision to that track. Crap. Okay, let's scrap that then. Scrap that idea. If you go straight like that, okay, that works. <laughs> as easy as that, that works. It's crossing there, but fine. You can have a signal like here. You totally forgot. Is this the same profile as the YouTube series? It's a different one. We're on medium in this one. And a different generated map. And we can also connect there. So connect to here. And here. Rip. Rooney? Why did you go there then? Wait a minute. Go back. Okay, 
So it says this line goes to that place, but somehow he got confused and went to the other side. That's so strange. Right, now you're full, now you go. Let's see if you fix yourself. Did he get confused because of this one? Hope he didn't. Okay, now it works. He got just a bit confused, I guess. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. Alright. Hmm. Wait a minute. Why are they crisscrossing over here? Um, I'm thinking maybe on this side, we can make it opposite ways. If we have a signal here, where we say you go one way. What I'm saying is they're crossing over here when they could just go on this side right here. But I guess that's fine. There, there are not really that many trains that intersect. Let's just keep it for now. Let's focus on this thing. This thing here, right? So we have a stone delivery there. That would work to the train station. We can. We need a train to go from here to here. Okay, we can do that easily. We have some passes in here which might be too short. Might need to double track this. Yeah. And after that arrives in here, the goods would get dropped off where? The goods would get dropped off here. And from here, it can go straight to the construction plant which is over here via truck or via train i think trucks would work because the 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 sad thing about this line is stones and construction materials are carried in different wagons so we can't have just a single type of wagon for our train which would be wasteful because it can't go back and forth carrying uh being full it would never be full Where am I going to store the construction material? Ah, that's why we created a new line. So if you look here, in here, we have four lines here now. One, two, three, four. Three of them are quite full, but the newest one, this olive looking one. Let's change that into red. To maroon, maybe. Mm, might be misleading. Orange. That orange one has its own platform. So that is where all the stone will go. Train const. That is also where the construction materials would be delivered to. Hopefully. Okay, so let's look at it. I can go and deliver the construction materials in here. But for some reason, I'm feeling a bit hesitant there. Um, because number one, it might get full. Number two, I think it I can make it shorter. But I think I need to put it here. Because if I deliver the construction materials to a different stop like here, I would need then another line which connects that new stop to this existing one so that Stockton can have its own construction materials. So might as well deliver to that exact stop. I think. Or I need a truck stop which is in catchment of this one. Which is which might be a bit hard to do. So if you look at a medium city, uh, that's quite big. Now this is in catchment, but this is not... Actually, this is still in catchment. But the train, yeah, the train still is. Maybe this will work. Let's try it out. There, so catchment area is, yeah, that, that truck stop is in catchment. The station is in catchment. Looks good. Okay, like it. That's a long drive. Yeah, true. 
<laughs> Look at that. Traffic? <laughs> Cannot have that. Definitely not. We'll make a special road just for our trucks. So we'll make a flyover if need be. Actually, that sounds good. Let's try it out. So coming from here, we can make a large country road. Actually coming from here, maybe. Convert that. Have it go straight all the way. But then, make it go, make it fly. Make it fly like so. Instead of crossing over all of there, let's make it fly over there. Looks beautiful. Let me see. Is that more or less even? I think I need to extend it a bit. Not it straight. Yeah, I think that works. There, going straight onto the construction materials plant over here. It should make it a lot easier. Wow, is that gonna make a tunnel even? 700k. <laughs> Maybe go uphill a bit. Yeah, take it slow. Little by little. There we go. From 700k, it became like 30k. Okay, this is a bit expensive, but nothing we can't handle. Hello? There. Okay, I'm happy with that. And let's link that up with a humongous truck stop. There we go. That fits quite well. So, catchment wise. Oh, this is expensive. Maybe here? Look at how much that needs to be raised. <laughs> okay, that works. But I'm not so sure about the... Let me see, huh? I think either way would be fine. Yeah, that would work. Do truck stops share storage if in catchment area? Um, they, it's not that they share actual storage, but they do connect to each other. Like if we create construction materials here and we deliver it to this truck stop, if this if the other truck stop is in catchment then the construction materials will teleport to this place yeah if you get what i mean and then they can deliver it the trucks here can deliver it to the city so it has to be in catchment for that teleport thing to happen all right so let's make a line there Const. Now our nearest depot here is uh, over at this area. That's too far away. So let's make a new one in here. Why not? You know until now I don't know if these depots have maintenance cost. I can see them somehow in here. Running costs for property maintenance maybe, but look at that, only 68k. Or 269k all in all. Hmm, that's quite significant actually. But that's not the depots only, I would not assume. Right. So let's go and uh, where is that? I'm getting lost with our humongous city. Here, okay. A siege one. Let's make a line there. Okay, that's existing. We have a truck depot. Perfect. Let's start the chain. So let's make, I don't know, three trucks for now going to this stone line. Let's make a train. A train needs to be not that fast. Oh yeah, this is this is the best train ever, I think. Yeah, this is my favorite. 160 kilometers per hour. Attractive effort of 334. 
So it's very fast and it's powerful as well. Although it is quite expensive, 10 million. I think we're gonna go with the cheaper one for now. 105 kilometers, 410 kilonewtons. I think that's good. That looks good. Wait a minute. Let me see what train we have. What trains we have in here? Uh, yeah, we are using that yellow thingy. I think we can go with that. This one. So let's buy one of these wagons. Uh, wait a minute. Sell that. Did I get the full amount? 5.55M? Yeah, I did. Okay, full refund. That's good. I'm thinking, do we not have electric trains that can do the job? We are in 1993 now, so maybe that would make sense. They are quite expensive. Yeah. Stick with diesel for now. That's diesel, right? Yeah, it is diesel. With those black, inky black smoke. 105 kilometers per hour. Yeah, it has to be the same train as the other line, as this one here, uh, from fuel to Stockton. So that needs to be that guy there, EMD SD42. Because they'll be sharing the same line. If and if one is faster, then it will negate that advantage. So freight. Let's see. We need a gondola for sure for stone. Let's say one, two, three, four to start. And then construction materials, one, two, three, four, to go back. Although, now that I think about it, once the construction materials arrive here, they don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll need other trains going to other cities. Oh man, that's gonna suck. Alright, but just to, to, just to get the chain started, alright? Train construction materials, go for it. And we need also some trucks in here. Maybe four trucks. Hey, they're using my road. Don't use my road. I can cut this off, actually. <laughs> they still have another way, right? They can go with this way, the long route. Yeah, it's not like I removed their only way to the city. I just prevented it from using my own. <laughs> Stone to construction one is the one. Yep, it is. There. Stone or slag turns into construction. So let's get four trucks here on our exclusive road. <laughs> Truck const. Yep, that's good. It's a bit uphill here. Not sure if our trucks can manage that. In ETS, dude, that would have been a nightmare if you're carrying something that heavy. Let's see, let's observe the speed here. Fast forward a bit. Okay, here we go. The test. Uphill climb. Ooh. 40 and rising. Actually, it, it can accelerate. That's good. So, our trucks are powerful enough to handle that torque. Uh, have enough torque to handle that climb. And now it's going full speed. Nice. But the top speed of this guy is 80. But a few years from now, I'm not sure what year it releases, we should get the Freightliner Cascadia, which has a top speed of 100. So if we look, just to verify that I didn't just miss it. Yeah, it's still not here. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now I would expect that the stone has started producing. Maybe not. Did I miss something? Production, no. Catchment, yes. Catchment. Train station, yes. Um... Okay, it's a new year. It's a new month. There we go. It's working. Now it's working. Construction has proceeded. Uh, stone, there we go. Okay. 
Looks good. So it's be, it'll be sharing a line with this guy, with our new guy here. And hopefully it doesn't ruin the track. Because I'm not sure if my loops are long enough for these types of trains. We'll see very soon. Yeah, this is a perfect test. Going head to head here. Why is my, why is my signal that far away? I guess it doesn't matter that much because they have enough room anyway. Yeah. But I think I can extend this farther. Like over here would work. Wow, look at that signal, guys. From the ancient times. <laughs> look at it. Wait, wait, let me zoom in before we remove it. That guy. <laughs> no. Time for you to rest, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Is that the one with the shortcut removal here? <laughs> okay. That's cool. So now the train could actually pick up something. Okay, there is stone on the platform. That's good. Why well, are there lots of food in here? 159 food and 76 fuel. Anyway, let's see. Stone, please fill up with stone. There we go. For now, there is uh, 11 stone. But that gets us rolling, at least. Okay, train is coming. Perfect. It is historic. Should have kept the signal. You might have a point there. You can't create that anymore. But we should have some of those still lying around, like here. <laughs> so at least we still have some of them. Okay. So now we, sh we should think about how to deliver all, all those construction materials. We can extend our trains, like these red lines. We can have it. We can have. We can add a wagon there to deliver construction materials, or we can have entirely new trains. Actually, yeah, that can work as well. Entirely new trains to just take construction materials in, and we can use this platform over here. So if we can somehow connect this. Hmm, doesn't seem to work. Let me see. Okay, it works like that. Bit manual. Can I not merge into any of these? Okay, that works. We can have it par going parallel like that. And then we can merge, merge in afterwards, maybe. Yeah, I think that works. So we can have it like so. And... Okay, we do it. Okay, thank you. Connect it like that, maybe. Collision with the signal, as usual. There, perfect. That works. So now it will connect there, and the other side should also link up to this place. I think. So if that goes there, this one should link up similarly. And there's a signal, so maybe right after that. There we go. This should go parallel like so. Link up. And merge. Here. Speed is a bit slow actually. Speed is a bit slow. 92. So we need to go farther back and 
merge in faster. Like from here maybe would work. So speed now is 116. Uh, this one is 82 though, the last leg. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do for now. Okay, fine. I'll take that. Right, now it gets a bit messy in here, but hopefully our trains don't get confused. Alright, so we can have separate trains now going through there. And we should maybe just do a test run. Uh, have one train, should be the same model as these guys. So the red line has what? A AEM 7s. So if we have an AEM 7, this one can go 200. Attractive effort of 240. Actually, that's not needed. We can go with this. Because this goes 160, which has the maximum for our wagons anyway. And attractive effort of much more powerful. Uh, yeah, much more powerful pull. So we can go with this instead. And we might need to upgrade all, all our other trains as well. And here, it can go and uh, carry only construction materials maybe food if we want if there's a lot of food on the being backlogged here well not really All right so just construction materials though. let's see so for now let's maybe take two three four five six seven eight just to start and uh, we don't have a line yet i need a line which goes around similarly so from here to here going all the way around it's going to be a long trip for our guy but he should be able to manage there we go so he should go back in here um, that's not the line I'm looking for actually did it reroute stuff again? Yes, it did. I don't want it to go that way. I want it to... Okay, let me do it like this. Let me have a waypoint here. To force this into this line. So the red line I want to be on this second line. Like there, perfect. Okay. Now we're good. Um, not really. Because things switched here again. <laughs> this is so confusing. Oh man, just things are getting all wrecked now. Okay, so let's say this one, I want you to stay on this left side. So I need a waypoint here and tell you to go that way. There we go. So now that's fixed. So now that means the construction materials train is sharing with the new line that we created. Even though it's not following that somehow. I'm confused now. Const LDR. Okay, let's see how that works. Did we release our train? Not yet. Okay. You go and get released now. CG in the middle. I like that. Yeah, this is my favorite train so far. Pretty clean as well. All electric. No smoke, no nothing. Ah, morning cold. 
I hate it. Okay, let's look here. How's the production? Production is 44, potential is 63. Okay, that's fine. That will improve as we go along. So this guy would go there, go back, and etc, etc. So the LDR line, how is it doing? Wow, 280. Where did that all come from? 293 food just waiting. I think this is picking up. Wait, let me see. 690 now. It did upgrade. 1600. Perfect. So the food processing plant is well on its way. We're running out of food now. Grain and uh, things. We need more trucks in here. Wow, didn't expect that to happen. That's a good thing, I guess. Go to the farm line. There we go. And this is producing 642. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's doing well enough. Yeah, that should be good. Everyone's lining up. Food here is quite building up. Might need more trucks. More trucks are coming. But the main problem is we have... Yeah, here. We need more wagons now. We only have three wagons each. Huh, let me see. I think we might need to upgrade these guys anyway. So let me see. In terms of vehicles, how are you doing? You are how many years old? Nine, 18, 9, 9, and 18. Okay, so it looks like we can go and upgrade you. Maybe. 9 years is uh, what percentage? Our trains are these ones, I think. 55 years. Oh no. Probably means we need them to be 13 years or so before they upgrade. Crap. Is it possible to run a close-up of the orange trucks? For sure. Let's go and do that. Do you want it first person or just a third person close-up? Wow, look at all those people waiting. I think we can afford more trains in here for sure. I'll do that in a moment. Everything is just massive now. Looks, it feels like we've been out for like five years. Let's observe one from pickup to delivery. Maybe not delivery, but... <laughs> this one doesn't look so cool. Look at that. 24 years. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's coming from a farm. I do have replacement set here, right? I should. Pretty epic. These Peter Guts. And the Cascadias, which are coming soon, would be even cooler. We'll be losing a lot of money pretty soon. Top speed all the way. <laughs> the white stripes. Yeah, me too. Perfect accent. I think that's the best, my favorite uh, paint job when I'm buying a Peterbilt. Not even a Peterbilt, maybe even Kenworth's, like W900s. I like those stripes. So, how are things going here? Okay, it's good that it seems like food did go down a bit. Um, let me do it this way. LDR. Let's set the replacement. Set you to 25%. Remove that. Set the vehicle to the top one. This is the best one. Yes. Electric. That one. It's actually... 
less expensive, it's lower. But you wouldn't go past 160 anyway because of the wagon, so that's perfect right there. Although it might not, might not be perfect as the color. Switch it to red. Do it like that. And then this is 236 meters. Maybe we can have uh, remove two wagons there. Actually, remove everything. Add two food wagons. Oh no, not that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five food wagons, eight oil wagons. Does that work? Let's see, fuel and food. Maybe six and seven. Make it equal. Let's see, production here is one, six, three, two, eight, one. Okay, this has more demand. Food has 2778. Production is 830. Make, please make it this Cascadia. Yes, it is. Yeah, Freightliner Cascadia. We will check it out for sure. Alright, so I think 5 and 8 would be a nice balance. So let's just upgrade our trains and then we will upgrade our work trucks, right? And then we'll go back and see how the stone line is working. Right, so 5 and 8. I'm good with that. 25%. Yes. Uh, you might be a good candidate actually. If I make you go around, will you get mad at me? No path electric. Yes, it will. <laughs> I don't get what that means. I, I want him to go back. Okay, there we go. Now he goes back. So hopefully when he hits, he should upgrade. One train got upgraded already. Not sure where that came from. My main train station might need to be upgraded to six platforms. Yeah, that's true. It didn't get upgraded. Crap, it's too new. Might need six platforms, yes. Because uh, if we look at it, we have how many lines here? I think we have five lines currently using this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there is one, one platform sharing, which is the stone line. But right now, it's not yet that big a deal. So it's fine. But yes, you're right. Later on, we will need to adjust that. Okay, two trains got upgraded. That's cool. These other ones will not upgrade yet, unfortunately. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that. We'll need more trains for sure. Wow, look at that. <laughs> 392 passengers waiting. I think we can afford two metro liners on each line. Let me see if the others are working as well. Yeah, this one is 133. This one not so much. So maybe one train each line would work. I think that should be enough. Let's go. Let's take the lines here. Yellow and orange. Yellow for the clockwise. Orange for the counterclockwise. Metro liner yellow. One of you, assign you to the clockwise line, and one orange for the counterclockwise line. There we go. Everybody happy. That's a lot of passengers. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at it close up. Yep, a lot of people waiting in here. <laughs> Seems like rush hour every single time. But it's a good thing that we have this. This uh, separate train line, freight train. Separate platform for freights, for freight trains. That makes it much more useful. Okay. 
seems like this guy is waiting for what exactly? For that guy to pass maybe. There we go. Okay. It's fine. And this is waiting for this guy. Right? Yes. Okay, that's cool. There's a copy train button. Yeah, that's a problem. Because I... I would rather copy them manually because I would not want to waste time going, getting them go back to the depot because it's, it's going to be a pain. What is this? Okay, they're waiting for each other. Alright. That's a rare occurrence actually. Let's see. There is a construction material now. There is... There are seven actually. Look at that. Seven pieces of construction materials ready for delivery on the long distance route. It's starting, guys. It is starting. Yeah, it can unload. Just have to make sure that they are on a separate track to make sure that they don't uh, impede. There we go. The other trains. Because usually the passenger trains go much faster, right? Okay, how are things here? 80 over 100, that will upgrade soon enough. Um, in here, we do have a lot of food. Not sure if our trucks are managing. How are you guys doing? We might need to upgrade you anyway, so that's fine. Okay, and in here, we do have some 60 over 100. But look at that, potential of construction materials is 1978. Because we linked this to the long distance route, to, those, to all those four cities. Nice. This is building up again. I think we need more trucks in here. Or we can go and upgrade them already. That's right. We can upgrade them to the Cascadia. So, as much as I would enjoy that orange Peterbilt, we'll have to go with the orange Cascadia now. Hopefully, it just it looks just as cool. For the farm. Wow, that's laggy. Let's see how that looks. There we go. Some of them are upgrading, actually. There it is. Let's have a look here. Transformation, there we go. Can handle 21 grain. Construction trucks, no they're not full. Not yet. They are carrying something, but they are far from full. It's picking up slowly though. Okay, let's observe this guy. Now they should be able to maximize this highway. They should be able to go 100 now. And that should increase not only the frequency, but their capacity as well. Looks very modern at this. Although, honestly, I prefer the Peter builds a bit more because of their classic look. But overall, I think it's worth it still looks cool there we go uh, we need to slow down a bit not sure why there we go top speed whoa that hump <laughs> If you add more trucks, does production increase quicker? Or is the increase a set rate? Um, love to stay longer, so tired and as always have to wake up early. Oh, Skipper, yeah, no problem. Thanks for staying. Thanks for hanging out. And glad you enjoyed the Orange Peter builds. Have a good night. And KM about the trucks, I don't think they do. So. Like this time, I have so many trucks now, but not everything is being, uh, not everything is 
it's not ramping up production just because we have lots of trucks. I think it mainly depends on the whole line, on the end result. So if we have enough demand at the city, that flows back to the intermediates and then to the raw materials. But it's not a matter of the truck frequency, I think. Although, don't quote me on that. Kaching? Yes. How are things looking here? Almost all of them have been upgraded. That's nice. Okay, so there are some which haven't. I think these are relatively new. Yeah, just one year. I think let's have that go home. Just make them go home. Let's keep that in here. Yep, they're going back in this place. That should be fine. Let's monitor that later on. The food line, we also need to upgrade. These are our main uh, stuff in here. Main train, main trucks, main truck lines. Yellow and yes, 25%. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of trucks. Is there a way to make the factory upgrade faster? Unfortunately not. You can just make sure they're producing as much as they can and after a while they will upgrade like this one. It's 88 now. Once it reaches 100, which is pretty soon, after a few months that will trigger upgrade. So just make sure that the line is getting fully utilized always and it should work. Let's have a, a look at the red line here. Why is it going negative? Vehicles, okay, that still hasn't upgraded. 11 years. That should upgrade pretty soon in 2 years. Ideally. Because we still have replacements turned on. Okay, there you go. Sell you off. Nice. Okay, what else? What else are our critical uh, truck routes? Let's see. Truck, const, not really critical. So for those not critical, we'll just set the new train and the new truck rather, and uh, just let it be. This one, the farm, should all be good. So let's set that back to 100%. Make sure we're not wasting money there. This one, just set it up. Yes, not even sure where Jacksonville is. I forgot about it. Orlando is losing money. Why? Salt Lake as well. Wow, that's a lot. Hmm. Stockton. Yeah. Surprise. Here we go. Uh, industry. Okay, these two. Okay, no immediate upgrades needed. Maybe the construction? No, not really. Because they are simply not carrying at full capacity yet, so we don't need to maximize them. Look at this. Yellow line just upgraded everything. Perfect. Right, that's good. So that's almost all the trucks upgraded. Hey, Urban Orange, glad you could join. How are you doing? Excuse me for a second, guys. I have to sneeze.
I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Went to the bio break as well. Why is this train not moving? Has this train moved at all? A while ago. I'm doing fine, Urban Orange. I'm just I just have a bit of a cold because I woke up early in the morning and uh, haven't had much of a warm up yet. I always have a cold in the mornings. And the game just went rip. Electric train run the view in first a ruin. Electric trains ruin the view in first person. All kinds of poles and wires in the way. That's a good point actually. Yeah. It does look a lot dirtier. If you imagine all those poles out of the way, the scenery would have been much much better. I'm liking I'm liking this uh, triple track system we have here though. It looks so sophisticated. Anyway, let's leave it there. How are things going here? Hmm. Is anything stuck? <laughs> That's the main concern. Alright, things look like they are moving. Although not a lot. But they are beginning at least. So there are some construction materials here, some here to be delivered to the city, though that seems to be working just fine. That's perfect. And uh, let's see. Yeah, construction one. And uh, don't mind this one. <laughs> That's just uh, a cheap trick that I have. So the cars won't use it. So the cars won't use this road. This is exclusive for my trucks only. Hey Orange BNSF, glad you could join. How are you doing? Wow, we have two oranges on stream. <laughs> That's nice. Since you mentioned orange, I might as well show you this one in case you haven't seen it yet. We do have an orange truck line here. For the farm for delivering grain and uh, livestock they're doing pretty well if you look at their finances visible only they're earning 2.62 million dollars and that's only trucks no trains involved pretty cool i must say they're delivering all the way from that farm over here all the way to the food processing plant in the mountains even riding through a tunnel speaking of tunnels we can go through that we can go through that and see how it looks they probably haven't made it any better yet but here we go here we go there we go <laughs> it's not the best looking tunnel but at least there is something this is just this is not it's not just pitch black. You're doing good. Of course, orange as well. <laughs> yeah. I can delete the whole road, actually. That might look a lot better, won't it? It won't have any advantage other than looking good. But looking good is an advantage in itself, I must say. Wait a minute. Why did that complain now? Okay, looks like that won't work. Let's bring it back. That was so weird. Did you see that? If we remove this, it will complain. But if we just remove that part, it doesn't. Okay, let's leave it there then. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how to make that pretty. They really can have some sort of stuff in here. Like make some sort of bushes. Rock. Rock bush, rock brush. Like a dead end, you know? <laughs> that, that could look cool. <laughs> I like this. It's the first time I've used this. Maybe we can put some more uh, rock br bush brushes there. Some trees, even. Dead end sort of thing. 
That looks really nice, actually. Some landscaping work there. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I can do so many things in here. Hmm, interesting. Lamps. Make it like a park or something? I'm not sure. <laughs> even put seats in here, the ditch doesn't fit. Let me remove that. I think I like it better with just the grasses. You like it. <laughs> I like the one with the grass in it because the ground looked much different there. Yeah, that looks more natural. <laughs> A dead end. There we go. Now it doesn't look as ugly. Okay, production 84. Go ahead. Yeah, it's going to ramp up pretty slowly because this is a very long route. But we'll get there. Construction materials, look at this. Stone, 35. Construction materials, 17. That's good. That's building up. And looks like food is uh, out of the way here. So we are delivering that slowly. We are losing lots of money. But that's fine. That's just part of the learning process although it looks like something twitched again with this oil setup yeah they're not delivering as much oil as i would want i guess at one point the platform got full and things reset for a bit yeah it's a love and hate relationship in this one Yes, it's free. You mean the landscaping? Yeah. You can look at the price, it's zero. Which is nice. If you're into artsy, artsy for artsy stuff, you can put like landscaping things here in the middle. Just put the light there. Just because. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Keralis. Keralis loves things like that. Beautifying things. And I'm not a really creative person when it comes to that, but I do appreciate it. Like, even this kind of tree, you can put it. Uh, I like this tree brush. For example, you can pick a brush which says all trees or broad leaves, conifers. So it, it's all trees and it goes random. It just changes every time you click it, which is a very, very nice touch. So you can add on top of this. It comes random every single time and looks much better actually. Yeah. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. What is that in Celsius? I think that's negative already, right? Wow. How are we surviving then, Orange? You must have put some pretty thick layers going on there. Any traffic? Not really. I think our revised route is doing just fine. Nice. Although the buses, the bus route looks like it was ruined as well. Why are you going that way? Ah, oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You're in your house. Okay, so it's not 5 degrees inside your house at least. <laughs> it's 5 degrees outside in your area. That's good to hear. I am very sensitive when it comes to cold weather. I'm not really used to it. I, I have only experienced r snow once in my life. And although it is fun at the beginning, the cold isn't after a while. Ooh, looks like things are building up here again. Need to deliver these. Let me get two new orange trucks here.
Star plastic, so they're building up too. Hmm. Plastics are something I hate because they're so. They're so they require so many steps in between. Like this one, right? We can go and deliver the oil from the fuel, I think. Yeah, from this one. From the refinery, we can deliver the oil to the plastics place here. Mm. And then the plastic, what I hate about it is the plastic would need to go somewhere else. Like, it's not the finished goods. It needs to be delivered to a, a machine factory or a goods production facility and those need to be to have planks as well so it will be a quite complicated supply chain supply network and i don't think we're quite ready for that yet let me see like this one along with plastic needs planks so we need planks and for planks we need a, a sawmill and a forest we have a sawmill right here, we can use that, but the forest is where? Let's go look for it. Where is that darn forest? There it is. So the forest, we can go... I would really love to use a ship. We could use a ship, truck here, ship there, here. There actually would work as well. Hmm. Maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. I think I want to settle down the construction chain first. It's winter now. You live in Wis. What is Wis? Wisconsin? Six inch of snow on the ground. <laughs> now, this much. No, that, that's one foot, right? So this one. Like that. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Can cars still drive through that? Six inches of snow. I've never tried driving in snow. I have no clue how it works. Construction materials 58. Our guy can handle 100 plus. Alright, that's good. Yes, alright. This guy is full. Another one is arriving. That's good. And uh, waiting is 180 fuel and uh, 88 food. 180 fuel, no problem. Our guy can carry that. Food, 54, not full, but it's it's uh, it's going to work. You hate it. You have to walk to school. Oh man. Yeah, winter, I guess, is a real challenge. I was in Cincinnati once in the US. That's where I experienced snow. I think the coldest I experienced was negative 5 Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. And it was, I was freezing totally freezing i had so many layers on i thought i was prepared <laughs> apparently i wasn't <laughs> and i learned so many things that i didn't have an idea about when i was when i haven't been in snow before okay looks like clockwise counterclockwise they're earning pretty well or are they let's double check clockwise counterclockwise the, the counterclockwise is earning 8.22 million. The clockwise one is only earning 4 million. Hmm, interesting. Interesting discrepancy there. That's fine. Driving in snow is fun, especially with a truck. Ooh, is it? <laughs> fun, fun, or fun as in a challenge? What do you mean donuts? I do have an orange train. Where is it? 
our counterclockwise line has orange trains, if I remember correctly. Let me see if I can find one. This is a yellow one. Here it is. They're not too orange though. That's the that's the most orange I can get. Wood to planks, then oil to plastic, then planks to goods. Then planks to goods, yep, then goods to towns. So I need five trains. It it makes money if you do it right, but there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Like each chain of that needs to work. It needs to have the right number of uh, tracks, right number of vehicles in it. And if you do it wrongly in one, the whole chain would get ruined and you won't earn anything. So it's, it's a pretty challenging chain. And one I'm not too excited to try out, honestly. <laughs> like, I've had it in my hard playthrough. I've been earning quite a bit out of it. It's fun making steel and uh, delivering it, but if it doesn't work, I, I hate it because your money really goes negative for quite some time. But I think that's the like the end end game uh, supply chain that you can set up. Once you have your basics like food, fuel, construction materials, then it's onto the big stuff like oil, plastic, goods, tools, machines, yeah, things like that. So how are things going here? Let me do a quick check. Uh, in this place, everything is earning. That's good. Except for the train line. This one, train const LDR. Let me see. It is starting to deliver something. Catching? Yeah, just a bit. Just a tad there. But if it proceeds, then we should get some more, some better stuff in there. Should see a lot more. Zoom on a railroad crossing. This one? You want to see it close? Okay. Train should be approaching. There we go. Even comes with the lights and everything. Really fancy stuff they made here. Fun as a challenge when you have to put on the snow chains. Ah, yes, I've seen those snow chains. Those snow chains like go around the tires, right? I'm not sure what the concept is. Why do you need snow chains? For better traction? So there is less wheel slip? I don't really understand it. When the snow chains get between the twin wheels, they're screwed. <laughs> Happened once. But you were lucky and had not not to take off the wheel. So Urban Orange, are you a real life trucker? So it sounds like it. Those sound like a lot of cool experiences you've had. Let's add one more bus here. Bus to there, Salt Lake. Okay, everything doing good. Looks like it. How are things picking up? Let's have a look at the stone industry. It has upgraded. 118 now and growing. Potential is now 167. That's perfect. Pretty soon we'll have trouble with our trains not keeping up with the demand. Not being able to supply fast enough. Look at that. All those stones. Okay, we'll have to upgrade this. Uh, this line. You know what? All of you, go home. Sell yourselves. Because I'm planning to upgrade this entirely. Let's make five cascades. So you can go your full 100 kilometers per hour and be able to haul a lot more. Oh, out with the old, in with the new. Look at that hump. 
<laughs> Do you think that can happen in real life? Let's look this this guy. Whoa! <laughs> I think that I think your trailer would get ruined in that slope. I don't think that works. Although to be fair, that only happens when they're they're going through the depot. So this is like a quality inspection. If you pass through that, then you can make it anywhere. Yeah? Alright, pass. <laughs> if you, and if you break there, that means you fail the quality inspection. I like it. <laughs> I like that uh, twist. Okay, there we go. Production is halted because we don't have any stone left. We do have a lot of stone in here. So hopefully that should improve. Our truck should be able to carry all of that. What types of trains? Uh, wait a minute. You were a truck driver. Stopped about 10 years ago. Oh, nice. Must have had lots of cool stories. What types of trains do I have in the area? I have cargo and passenger trains. Let's start with the passenger trains. I do have mostly metro liners, like these multiple units which can carry 81 passengers. Yeah, so this line is like an east to west line, which is actually in the middle of the map, here right beside the river. So the concept is east to west, it can deliver passengers like so, from there. But you can see it's not really attached to cities except on this end here. So what I do is in the middle for each station like for example here i have a bus station and uh, there are lines which transfer from these stations to the cities so you can see the transfer stations there they transfer people to and from the cities so when they when these guys need to go east or west they can take a bus take the train and go east or west or they can go north if they take the bus here stop at the transfer and take the other transfer going north so in a way everything is connected it's not just one trip though but it's fun it's fun seeing uh, the game work through all of those uh, connections waterbury still has a lot of people is that because of traffic it might be look at that hmm i think we'll have to remake this one sec how painful. Okay, let's remake that into a large country road with the bus line. Wow, that looks ugly as heck. Let's go up a bit. No? Why not? Extra large, oh, make it a large street. I don't get it. Okay, let's make it an extra large, a large street then. Okay, one million for that. That's a bit of a slopey bridge there, but fine. And then connect all the way there. Happy? You guys should be. Alright. So there should be less congestion now. Although there might be a problem. Let's remove that road. Okay, and uh, we have to put something there, I think. So it wouldn't pop up. Let's put some trees in. I'm not sure if it make a road automatically if I pop plop some trees in there <laughs> maybe you can block it up like that in real life what do you mean Ooh, lots of cars in here going through that city ah, i see nah, it's fine let's leave it like that right cool so we do have lots of people in here. Can we afford one more metro liner? 
You, va you have a small section without a bus line in it. The end of the bridge. You mean this one? Hmm. Good catch. Or I think that is a bus line. But it just doesn't look like it. I think that's just because it's an intersection. Yeah, but it's not like... You can't put a bus line in there for some reason. Yeah, it's green. That's weird. Doesn't look that cool to be honest. But look at this. The city is growing beyond the place. I think we can connect this. Reduce traffic a bit. Yeah, so we don't only have one road going there. We can have multiple. Let's make a a large street maybe? A medium street would work. Yeah. Connect that there. Have it go up. Collision? Where would it collide? Okay, let's start from here then. Okay, I think this is too near this place. This is too near, yeah. That's unfortunate. Well, we could go and connect this anyway. Yeah, that could work. Connect it like that. That works. So at least there's an alternative way. And then maybe here, I'm not sure if they can connect that way. Collision again. Yeah, this is an ugly road they put in. work though no it doesn't work right let's just leave it be oh in your area uh no actually i live in singapore we don't have trains in real life <laughs> we do have the metro but yeah we, i do see some railroads there but there's no like humongous train system going on there's mainly the metro that goes around the city Singapore is very, very small. I think there is a train from Singapore to Malaysia, but it's not very uh, developed. It might be more of a scenic route, but it's not very developed, I think. Like if you are a train enthusiast, you might like it. I have a friend who likes it, but trains aren't very popular in Asia. You know, the first time I rode a proper train was when I went to Europe. And that's the only time I went. I rode on a train. Otherwise, it's not. It's not a uh, a very famous thing, unfortunately. Nineteen passengers. This one here is okay. Very good. Add landscape. Add landscape where? Here. <laughs> to the dead end. We can do some rocks in here. I can rotate it, it's nice. <laughs> Just spam it. There, that looks a, li a little bit better. <laughs> it's like by design. Passenger boat down the river. You mean here? We can do that. Although it might conflict with the train here. It might make us lose passengers. I remember we had something like that before. Oh crap, food processing plant is trouble again. 
I remember we tried that before. It didn't really earn so much. Actually, it was making us lose money. So we connected these two cities, I think. But they never turned a profit, even after five years, something like that. So I really want a map next time which has a humongous body of water where we can force it. But wait a minute, let me check this out. What happened to you? Zero! No! What happened? Config here? Not really. Maybe in the station here. Oh, it might be it. This might be it. Fuel, food. Not sure though. Seems like they have everything all set. Ship more items. I don't get it. We have enough space. Is there somewhere with full food? Okay, this one has a lot of food. That's just 77 in total. Should be able to manage that. What else? This one doesn't have that many. Yeah, we're doing good here. This other one... Yeah, just has a tad. This one doesn't have anything at all. So I'm not sure why this is complaining. And it still hasn't fixed itself. Try to ship more items. Okay, it's fixed now. I don't get it really. Maybe it just happens sometimes. Because of how complex our network has become. Yeah, look at that. Production even stopped here. Or maybe not. Wait, food is full. That's nice. Crude oil is just building up. Cool. Okay, I think we're good there. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see our trains. Our trains should have upgraded by now. Yes, they have. Perfect. So we can set the replacement 200%. Should make that no. Right, cool. Let me observe one of these guys. See how they're faring. Eighty seven kilometers per hour. That's a bit slow. But I think if they go fast there, yeah, they should go fast there pretty much. Did the connection get messed with the roads and bridges you built? Uh, which one is that? Orange BNSF, thank you for following. Appreciate it. You mean this one? KM? Hmm, let me see. Well, they're earning enough. Yeah, I think it's fine. And there's no more traffic here, that's good. Although there is a lot of traffic in this place. But our buses aren't really affected by that, so that's fine. That's okay. Wow, the bus here is losing money. Why? There must be traffic somewhere. Um, <laughs> might be too many buses, actually. Yeah, let's have some go home. Let's pick some of those uh, with less passengers. Might be too many buses hogging up the place.
Okay, let's try it like that. Wow, things are getting really slow now. Ah, okay, so it's, it was January. Fine. Okay, let's slow that down. Let's see how this moves. Fourteen. Ooh, nice. Is that why the farm messed up? Ah, mm hmm. Well, the farm is a bit far away from the bridges. But let's see. Yeah, they. Seems like everything should be going pretty smoothly. And look at that: five point seven million profit on the truck, just on the farm. The one for food is one point twenty nine. Not so much. But it's a good progress at least. Any traffic? Not really. That's good. Nice. Okay. No food here though. Uh, did you get some food? Just 35. Yeah, that's not good. But this is picking up again. So we're seeing a lot more now. Now the good thing about these trucks is they can haul in 21 at a time. That's massive. So now all of these will just take two trucks maybe and should be all set. Although it is increasing. So I think we have a pretty good flow going on in here. I think it's just the right number of trucks. Let's see. 976, okay. Demand has gone up a bit. Not really that much. There must be some problem still in the supply chain. I don't get it at all. Like in here, I don't see any platform that's full. So that shouldn't be an issue. Ooh, our guy is picking up all those stones. That's nice. He wasn't actually able to get everything. So we might need to upgrade him pretty soon. Cool. And in terms of construction materials, there is a lot here. 42, but I think he can haul all of that. Yeah, that's fine. How are things going? It has upgraded as well. That's perfect. Although we are running out of stone. Yep, no stone left. I think we were pending some buses, weren't we? Yeah, Stockton. They still haven't arrived. Look at how traffic that is. Look at that. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, that's too much. That's just too much. Let me have these guys go go home as well let's start fresh maybe we need new buses anyway these are the old ones okay head for the depot guys Had everyone go home. Except the new buses, maybe. You know what? Let's do that. Let's refresh this. Just to keep things clean. Yeah. Horrible traffic. There we go. Let's sell all of these guys. All right.
right, all of you, go away. Lots of people waiting in the bus to stop them. So we can go and upgrade that. We can go and get some new buses there. But let's dispose of the old ones first. Okay, no more traffic there. That's good at least. So now we can analyze it. How are things looking? 79 passengers here, 57 here, 61 there. So maybe, I don't know, four buses. Set that to bus in Stockton. Let's see how you do it. It's really strange that there's no traffic light. And it's what? 1999. a fee for all every single time I guess they tried putting up some bus uh, some traffic lights but maybe it didn't work for them maybe it was causing too much traffic who knows is that large or medium street it's a large one yeah when it has four lanes it's a large one I think it's in the model of this station as well. It might be it's an extra intersection. Maybe it has to be sharing this intersection instead. I'm not sure. Yeah, because the more intersections there are, the, the slower cars would be. But I'm not sure if that would make much of a difference, honestly. Wow. Stockton's looking really progressive now. Maybe we should even switch to trams, I don't know. Trams would probably be better. They would be able to carry much more. But uh, let's see, let's see for now. Coming into town is slowing everything down at that intersection. <coughs> you mean those from outside going here? You're getting slowed down like that well there is not much traffic now anymore but let's see in a bit if uh, things look worse again let's uh, observe this right how about the stuff here I think we need more trains uh, trucks We have five already. No, I think we're good. Uh, buses have to wait for the car to pass. Ah. I removed all the buses. Yeah. Yeah, it was ugly earlier. This one, this leg right here especially. And here as well, I think. But yeah, I can imagine the traffic this causes. It looks a lot better now though. There's still some build up there. But it's much less. cleared up Ooh, what is this lots of stone in here food processing plant has a problem once again where could it be this one is not it this is not it or was it maybe it was or maybe it's this one. Wow, it's just sipping up all those fuel and food. Nice. 
85 construction materials. That's cool. And our train is still going negative. <laughs> you can carry 144. Okay, that's cool. Stone line. Earning a bit. All good. Potential zero for stone. What the heck happened? Did something get full? Potential is 1593 here. Not sure how it could have cut off. The stone line actually stopped producing. So weird. This is not full at all. I mean, there's 44 stone and 85 construction materials. So the platform is far from full. But maybe that is proportional not only to the platform length, but maybe the percentage. Like if there was 50 stone there, maybe it, that would stop the production on the on this one. So now it's producing again because we picked up the stone. That might be it. I've seen that a couple of times. I'm not really sure what the science is behind it. Sometimes, even though a platform isn't full, a production facility would tag it as full. So there's some sort of weird math going on there. So it might not be far off that this gets full as well, even if it doesn't seem like it. So maybe we will have to separate the platforms here. Like right now, we have three trains. We can go and improve this. Make this a double platform. One for food, one for oil. Let's try that. Let me save first. Stream 2. Make sure I don't override my YouTube series. What the heck is that? What's a Skoda Tenti? Is that a tram? Maybe. And this looks like a bus, uh, a train rather. Let's have a look. Multiple units? Yes, it is. The Speed Dance Express. The fastest trains in the Americas, attaining 150 miles per hour in the revenue service on the Northeast Corridor. They use tilting technology to travel at higher speeds. Nice. Can carry 102 passengers and go 240 kilometers per hour. So expensive though, 6 million on cost, well, more than twice the amount of a metro liner. Don't think we can maximize that with our lines. Alright, so what I want to do here is upgrade it to two tracks, like so. Um, we can do it like that. And this one can connect here as well. Or we can have one line for each. No, no. Let's have it share. One direction, one line. Let me break this one. Can you connect like that, please? Thank you. And here, let's just have a crisscross thingy. That doesn't work. Now it decides to use that line. That's so weird. <laughs> Let's have this guy leave first. So we can see the tracks. Normally I can create something here. Okay, one sec. If I delete you, maybe have a merging lane right here. Construction not possible, why not? Okay, from there to here then. 
Too much slope. Okay, fine. That doesn't work. Weird. Normally that works, but I think it's because of this curved uh, thing. Is that what's happening with food? Yeah, might be. Hey Rata, how are you doing? Glad you could join. Hold shift and the problem highlights in red. Ah. Holding shift? Nothing's happening though. It doesn't just want. Okay, there, that works. So maybe it needs to be longer. Let's make it longer then. Now this doesn't want. <laughs> oh, you have to be kidding me. I just want a crisscross thingy. Okay, this is what we'll do. Remove you. Let's make a crossover on this straight line here. Okay, if this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Right there, that's like the perfect example. And here, there we go. Too much slope. <laughs> this game is trolling me. Too much low. Okay, let's have it longer. There we go. Do the same. Okay, there. There. Wow. That looks a bit complicated. <laughs> I'm not sure what that does. But that's good. So we can make a new line from here. To there which I would prefer to be in a different line actually but all right fine let's share for now let's make that green okay it's fine let's make that the train for food yes um, good really busy your daughter's first birthday party was over the weekend ah nice now you're leaving on a trip for the holidays this Friday. Wow, that's a good life. <laughs> Enjoy, sir. <laughs> in regards to the family. I'm doing good. I was in Manila last weekend for a wedding for my friend. I'm back now. Yeah, we just like went overnight in Manila. Thankfully, Singapore is very near. And now back to work until the holidays. Okay, I think that's set. Can schedule, can have that go. Let's see if something goes wrong there. This one is waiting. That one's going. All right. You have this problem all the time. It's the slope. To make an exit, needs to be practically flat and straight. That would make sense. Hmm. Yeah. So now at least it works. Not not the most even track, like the crossover is here and there. <laughs> but it works somehow, so I'm, I'm okay with that. And then... Oh crap, all the food. No, 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 no. We have to upgrade it. We have to upgrade our trains. Um, I think what we can do... One train, I can move... Let's see. So this train, I can move you to the other line, the food line, right? Which is using that platform. Okay, that's good. And then, pause the game. Let's upgrade this. So you should now carry only food. 19 years, that's a perfect time to upgrade. Let's see. Locos, electric... Um, would this be worth it for food? It can go 160, but we don't really need 160. We need a very strong train. 
483. I think that this would work. It's more expensive, more powerful though. Looks a bit cooler as well. So let's see. Let's uh, set you to green. Add that and then make it a full 320 length for food. Might be a bit overkill, but let's try it. I did save it, right? Yes, I did, I think. Okay. And this one, the oil line, we upgrade to... What do we upgrade it to? Upgrade it to that one. This one, set it to black. Remove all those. And set that to, not you, this one. Set that to all tank cars. There we go. Set you to replace. Perfect. Let's see if that works. So two for oil, one for food. Let's see if that will be faster or at least that will not fill up as fast. Now I'll have to upgrade this again to reset stuff, but we'll see, we'll see. And I think I need a separate platform here. Yeah, I'll need it. Oh, I hate this. I hate to do this, but five tracks. You know what? Let's maximize it. Let's go all in. It's going to reset a lot of stuff, but this is for the best. Oh, <laughs> okay, there we go. So what we can do is we can have a separate line for these guys. Um, something like, let's have this guy leave first. Yeah. Why is this guy going back? Go there, but maybe stop there because I'll be remodeling the whole place okay so we can go and maybe use this middle line for the oil one for food one for oil I think that would work okay that should be good enough pause the game remove that Let's have it connect to... Oh, this is going to be trouble again. Because we'll have to make a crossover. Connect there. Okay. That's all well and good, but when it comes with the crossover... How do we do that? Let's see. Okay. That works that direction. Oh, that was actually easy. Nice. Okay, that's cool. So they have their own platforms now. Um, although here, it doesn't look like it's happening for food. Food should be on the other side. Should be using this. So maybe we can add a waypoint. There we go. And for oil, it's using... What? Why is oil sticking here as well? Wait a minute. Okay, should I explicitly tell you to go here? There we go. <laughs> okay, that works. So now they have their own line, their own platform. They share this track, that's true. But they go and lead to different platforms in the end. Okay, perfect. Now that's good. Um, in here though, I think we can set it up as well since we have 8 tracks now. Let me see. We can have, instead of this orange line going there, we can actually use this other line. So it, we can connect it like this. In here. Might be a bit ugly, I know. Just connect like that for now. Let's remove this part.
It's ruined. No, it's not. We'll fix it. Does that work? There we go. So orange line here, there, no sharing of lines, perfect. So the long distance uh, trains are using the topmost platform. The one going to that city, I think it's Stockton, is using the second one. The one for oil and foods using the third and the fourth one is open. So we have that reserved. Alright. So they should be fine here, I think. They'd be sharing this bit here. I think we can have a signal right there. Whoa. And then things reversed. I'm not sure how it does that, but fine. Have it anyway, like. Let's see if that works at all. And uh, make sure to start this train again. Stopping? Why are you stopping? Oh, because I don't have a signal here. I need to have signals here. Um, when you're merging like that, maybe? And in here we have to have a signal right here. Wait a minute. Maybe here. Or do I need that before the crossover? I'm not really sure. Where do you usually put the signals guys? In the middle of the crossover or before? I guess it would make sense to put it before, but I'm not really sure. Okay, trains. Train check. Uh, we still have one train which hasn't upgraded. There we go. So now, we shouldn't have food anymore in this place. Food should be on the other line instead. Perfect, that's what I want. Now, there is some remnant food left in here. Which will irk me a lot. But what we can do... To remove that is to do a cheap trick like this. If you upgrade that to three tracks, it will be more expensive, right? But it will reset all the food. It will remove all the items in there and bring it back to two. And in that way, you have a fresh start. So all the oil should be put at the bottom. All the food should be put at the top. Right? Looks good. Your, train si your trains are longer than your signal spacing. Are they? Might be. Can't figure out crossover signaling, so I don't use them anymore. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good point. So, let me see. Let's go and improve our signals here. Oh, crap! <laughs> Somehow I knew that was inevitable. Okay. Let's uh, remodel this. That's a very cool looking train. Nice. Alright, so we have a signal, let's say here. I think this works just fine. I think, alright. So if we have it there... Then we should have the next one, maybe here. And then the next one should be that far apart, like this. Yeah? And in here, they should be able to wait for each other, like so. There, I think. And here, maybe like that and just looking at the the merge here so this line merges here and it comes into like an intersection there so he has to stop somewhere here so not not to hit that train that's at least what i think i'm not sure we'll see so like this train stops there right he waits for this train this train to pass and then he goes although it kind of <laughs> kisses the train a bit so we might need to push it back 
to be visually appealing. Although in terms of the game, it doesn't doesn't really matter that much. So when this guy passes that signal, this green crane should be able to go then. That's the plan at least. Doing good. Okay, now he goes. Perfect. So now we have lots of oil. Now we have just a tad of food. But we have two trains for oil and two trains for food. Oh no. How do we do this? Two trains for oil and one for food rather. So I think we will have to move this back. As much as we can like here and hope that this connects somehow to both of them too much slope of course of course it's too much slope so that means we'll have to raise this uh, brush strength low Let's even it out. That looks ugly as heck. But maybe it will work. Okay, there. One building will be removed. Fine. Remove that building. You know what? Let's remove those two buildings. Let's give it like that allowance. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, that's enough here. Um, too much slope here. Crap. Mm, well, that's true. It does look a bit slopey. But can we maybe remove that? Maybe we can do something here. Medium. Not sure how that works. Too much curvature. Oh, it's not hugging it. Okay, that works right there. I don't think it will work. If we start from this side. that there is no way it will accept it will there how did they make my own logo appear in the, on the trains ah there is a tutorial about it but basically you have to set something out set something up outside the game for the how do you call it there's a directory in game which contains all the logos like all three standard logos like you go to finance logo tab and you can pick ones here which are default there's like logo one logo two logo three you simply copy one of those i think that's a a targa file was it targa tga file if i remember correctly so you edit that you save it as for example logo four put in the same directory and it should it should appear in your game but honestly, I forgot which directory it was. Uh, it should be somewhere inside Transport Fever directory, that's for sure. There should be a logo folder there somewhat. I was thinking this would work. That's th that was a bit cross. Come on. We can do it. Come on. doesn't work okay fine 
Maybe if we can do it, it's <laughs> look at how ugly this is. <laughs> Man, I'm the worst landscaper ever. Okay, let's even that out. If we can increase it like so. Yeah, if we have everything that level, then it should be fine. Let's see. Yeah, because in here it gets lower. So if I can raise that a bit. Like so. I know it looks ugly guys, but <laughs> bear with me, alright? <laughs> Okay, that looks much better. No, it doesn't look much better. <laughs> but it it looks like it will work at least. And then let's beautify it afterwards, alright? <laughs> Too much curvature. I'm hating this now. Okay, let's curve it up a bit. Okay, how about that? That works. Oh, come on. We hit 2001 already. And I still can't make it. What's that now? Food processing plant is still a problem. Okay, now I'm sure this is not a problem. Wait a minute. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was a temporary hiccup with the production line. It gets filled so easily. So fine, how do we do this? <laughs> hey, Orange. What's up? Did you leave? I'm not sure if you left for a while. Build track first. That is a good point, actually. So let's see. Connect like that. And connect like this. So it needs to be longer, does it? Okay, there. The earliest it would connect is there, right? So we can delete that. We can try to connect to that. Why not? That's perfect. Hmm. Maybe it's too hilly? I don't know. Let's even this out a bit. Ah, you had to leave. Welcome back. Okay, patience, patience. Yeah, it might just not be enough room in the end. Add a little track. Maybe we can maximize the space, make it diagonal. Like if I go right there. Should have a bit more space, right? Too much curvature.
build it south. Take a curve to the south and build it south. Ah, okay. So it wants to build up, but it can't because of this road here. Understand. Yeah, I will have to make it here separately. I would have preferred it here because it was in the end. It was a perfect fit. At least it was before. <laughs> Not anymore. Or like that, do you mean? It wanted to already. It wanted it. What's okay doing it individually? Right? There. Oh, there, there. <laughs> Close with no cigar. I think we'll spend the rest of the time here. Not enough room either. That looks okay, but not really. Uh, not enough space. Fine. Delete the road and just have them go around. It would kind of ruin the track though. Okay, so this is what I'll do for now. <laughs> <It is. laughs> we can't have this. Oh, there's a piece of track there left. Oh, there's a piece of track left. Maybe that's what's causing the problem. Okay. That gave me a bit of new hope. And this guy decides to build right here. <laughs> okay, let's try it like... That. Looking good? That works. Can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Okay, fine. No, no. I give up. We don't have enough time. It's almost 11. I have to go at 11 today. No. Right, so let's just even this out, make it pretty again. Lower, lower this part. <laughs> okay, even it out a bit. you fix this area? It looks ugly as heck now. Okay, that looks a bit better. <laughs> Not really, but okay. Um, the depot problem, let's do that later. For now, what I'll do is I'll I'll just build the depots on demand. Right? When I need one here, I build one. When I need one here, I build one. <laughs> that looks so derp. They'll fix it when they build. Okay, cool. But this looks good. So if we look at our thing here, oil is earning 3.25, food is earning 23 points. Actually losing 23.6. But that's fine, because that will ramp up here. And so we should have more food. There you go. There's building up. Our crane should be able to carry all of that. Nice. Although I think it would be better to have two smaller trains here for better frequency. 
You might try that in the, in the future stream. Next week. Next week I should still be here. The week after that I'm out for vacation. For the holidays. Wow, lots of stone. How many stone? 109. Nice. And our train can only hold... Uh, not you, train. Can only hold... 72. That's not good. So we're losing a bit of money on those two trains still. Actually a lot of money. And because of that remodeling, things reset and we're losing money. But over here in this place, we are earning gold. Uh, not everywhere. But in the passenger line, we're earning 5 million each. The others are kind of losing. Oh, because those are connected to the supply chain. So if something stops here, everything is affected. But yeah, it's all looking good. It's all looking good. Nice. Right, cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for joining me all this time. I think we've done pretty well, considering. We've had a few mishaps, and wow, look at this. 164, 133, 102. Yes, please, more buses. No traffic, no traffic. Let's take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Why not? Bus in Salt Lake. These guys love their buses. I think we should upgrade these to tram soon. Yeah, anyway. Thanks, KM. Had fun as well. Thanks for the inputs. Really helpful. And thanks, everyone. Thank you for joining. See you next week. And for those who are interested in truck simulators, see you on Friday. Right? That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, you guys have a nice day. Bye-bye. Let's see if the outro will, will uh, skip now. Hopefully not. Let's see. Bye-bye. It actually didn't skip. I like it. <laughs> anyway, guys. Bye. See you all. Thanks for watching. And hang out. Bye-bye.